Our top story this morning, the death toll is rising in Istanbul after yet another shocking terror attack in Turkey. This time, passengers in the country's biggest airport were the target. Let's get the latest details from our Hong Hojun, who's on the line. Hojun. Yeah, after a series of deadly explosions ripped through Istanbul's Ataturk International Airport Tuesday evening, reports on the number of deaths and casualties have been steadily rising amid the chaos and pandemonium since the attack. Less than an hour ago, Turkey's prime minister confirmed at least 36 people were killed, a number that is likely to rise. Another senior Turkish official says nearly 150 others were injured. Uh, at this moment, we know there were three bombers who exchanged gunfire with security guards and then detonated what are believed to be suicide vests. Turkey has been rocked by a series of terror attacks carried out by both ISIS and Kurdish militant separatists over the past year. But U.S. officials are saying this attack bears the hallmarks of the Islamic State militant group. No immediate claim of responsibility has been made, but local officials and media are also pointing the finger at ISIS. Although there weren't any Korean national cares in the airport at the time of the blast, Korea's foreign ministry is scrambling to see if any Korean nationals were caught up in the attack. Located on the European side of Istanbul, Ataturk International Airport is the main airport people use when traveling in and out of Turkey. And it's the third busiest airport in Europe. It has been considered a vulnerable target for some time, though the airport not only has X-ray scanners in the security checkpoints, but also in the entry to the terminal. And that's where the blast occurred. Back to you, Tiet.